Dear Landscape, like the British romantic poets Shelley, Coleridge, and Woodsworth, I peek through a toned window of an air-conditioned vehicle and grasp a prospect of the rural landscape in Denmark that presents itself as flat, monotonous, and archaic. The glorious time of growth and prestige is long gone. What remains is an intensive monoculture and a ticking bomb of climate change. The nerve-wracking drought of 2022, arguably caused by global warming, is showcasing how agricultural systems around Europe are seeing their final stages, and the increasing scarcity of flowing water is causing declined living standards. From above, endless squares of farms are taking up space and manufacturing synthesized landscapes that seem just as natural as the surrounding forest scenery. Previously, I've been exploring the constructed recreative landscapes depicted and represented by early Romantic painters and Danish and British poets. I've been interested in how these landscapes relate to Norse mythology, as well as contemporary ideas about nature, and how these ideas manifest themselves in an industrial society. Namely, a society where we dwell in a cottage as if it was a scenography of an abandoned theater, an alienation of the cityscape, in which new farms and cottages must arise. Rural life becomes a cosplay flowing with oat milk, sourdough, and remediated dinners with wildflower bouquets, beautiful arrangements that decompose onto the linen tablecloth, leaving a mark that will show us the succession of cycles. These very cycles must revitalize themselves so as not to keep us in this iron fist of time. How we grow the grass, plow the field, rake the hay, feed the cattle, slaughter the livestock, and fill our stomachs. New technologies, the freedom of intelligent beings, the aeroponic future. We must act as the seasons, embrace self-sufficiency, and forget the rigid ideals of the outside left behind by the enlightenment. The algae and the bogs, rivers, lakes, and oceans in which it dwells appear thick as oil and saturated as pigments. It is the organism that grew on the roofs of northern ancestors that can fuel our future and construct utilities just as the dinosaur bones of the ancient time. With its toxic traits and beneficial attitude, it grows on my skin as I lay still in the bog, waiting for the cycles to subsume my corpus. Oh, thy flattened landscape, you who make me go mad. I want to know your inner secrets and mount hills in your boring climate. I want to bury myself within your ancient mounds as the Neolithic humans, the masters of domestication. They who took the forest as their clay, molded the future. I want to ride with the steam engine toward new territories and explore how fast this vehicle can go beyond the consensus into an oblivion of truth.